Elon Musk, he he bought Twitter. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I'm as a brand. I've got to distance myself from this platform now. I just, I I need a moment. I'm I'm stepping back. We're pausing our ads. I regret it, but sacrifices need to be made. This this is trying times. This is the worst thing that could have possibly happened. And we just need to do what's right by the people, by our consumers, and be the brand you trust. <laughs> no, please, please trend us. Please trend us and, and, and make sure that we stay relevant while we're pausing advertising. Would you do us that favor, please? <laughs> Bullshit. 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 This is such bullshit. It's been bullshit, right? And it will always be bullshit. Unlike my my ability to convincingly act, which I could definitely have voice acted that. You would have believed that if it was in a cartoon. Hire me for voice acting. Uh, either way, point is that um, if uh, if you think for a second that this is an advertising pause then you haven't been paying attention because this couldn't be further from an advertising pause and what am i talking about well here is an article that i had to archive because i'm not going to pay bloomberger give them my email so that they can you know uh profit off of me any more than mike bloomberg also profits um but this is an ad, this is a, 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 a an article that popped up in a trending subject about Pfizer. And by the way, paused ads. Keep that in mind. Twitter advertiser pause widens as General Mills taps the brakes. And this article was like, General Mills Incorporated said it's temporarily pausing advertising on Twitter, joining Pfizer, Volkswagen, AG's Audi, and other brands rethinking their presence on the platform now that Elon Musk has taken over and is making his mark on the social media company. <laughs> we have a planned advertising, or er, a pause advertising on Twitter, said Kelsey Rindhild, Rindhild, Remhild, I can't fucking, I don't care, a spokesperson for General Mills. As always, we will continue to monitor this new direction and evaluate our marketing spend. Spend. I love how she it doesn't say budget, it just says spend. Like budget, we can't budget an extra syllable to say budget. This is our spend. Uh, brands like Pfizer... Audi and General Mills are concerned that the platform could host more objectionable content. As Musk rethinks his approach to content moderation, the WSJ reported, citing people familiar with the matter it didn't name. It's fucking hilarious. Others are stepping back amid uncertainty at the top of the company, including the departure of some key executives. General Motors said last week that it was suspending ads on Twitter. <laughs> a, a spokesman for Twitter didn't immediately respond for a request from comment for comment from Bloomberg. <laughs> so, this is all you need, really, for this for this point here. Um, you know. And I think, you know, it's, it's worth mentioning, this is bullshit. It's been bullshit because basically the new mode of advertising is not to directly spend money on ads. What it is, is to either do something so outrageous or do something about the so outrageous thing um, so that your company can seem either virtuous or or edgy. You'll get either the people who are sick of this woke culture, wokeism, get woke, go broke, go support my brand instead. I'm edgy. 
even though a lot of these people are just spewing the same bigoted bullshit that they could get from any fucking right-wing talk show host. Um, you know, <laughs> even though they're part of the mainstream, even though the whole mainstream is generally controlled by these people, um, you know, yeah, they're totally not mainstream media, even though Fox News has the most watched shows in the country and some of the most watched shows in the fucking world. Yeah, I'm so sure you're not mainstream media and that you don't like the mainstream media. Sure. But then there's the opposite where they're like, Oh no, Elon Musk! Now we're going to feign righteous indignation as though we're such ethical actors on such a normal basis because we want money. So we're pausing ads on Twitter. And then what happens? That trends on Twitter. Not only did they not pause ads, but y'all advertising them for free. You like that? Because that's what you're doing for them. You are free ads. Unlike the uh, sponsor of this video, which is Brush Fire and the new sequel taking place in 2048. Um, he has sponsored my uh, content before, the author has, and uh, he's sponsoring it again. So feel free to check the description for a link and a blurb. Um, and you can also support my content by keeping the uh, person who supports my content in some money. And you can get a nice book out of it, because this guy's a pretty good author. So um, I'll be reading the book and getting a copy relatively soon. But either way, you know, you're getting free advertising just by saying that you're super edgy conservatism or just by saying that you're, you know, super woke, not conservatism. And it's just advertising. Your company will get bucks from your desired audience. You will expand your base, ideally, because these people always do market testing before they make a choice like this. And they're like, abracadabra, more money in our wallets, and we get to seem like the rational choice. It's like Patagonia guy giving his trust to him, giving his company to himself through his own trust. And then being like, oh, but I did it for the environment, and I did it to be conscious, and... <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't be less, you know, transparent uh, if you tried. More transparent, whatever. I'm tired. Point is that, like, the general vibe here should be that when you do this, you're giving um, people free ads because you're contributing to the outrage ma machine that keeps their brand relevant. So now a bunch of people are going to go out and support Pfizer. They're going to support Audi. They're going to support General Mills and whatever because they're responding to this new, you know, edgy conservative with their wokeness and they're <laughs> exploiting your attention. Um, it's sort of like Peter Coffin said, you know, it, attention is currency in the marketplace of ideas. So maybe you should consider that before you support these businesses because they are just doing this for an opportunistic spend spree, and they get free advertising. They are saving money, not spending any, and they are getting just the same amount of advertising. You are keeping them relevant now, woke Twitter. You are contributing to mega corporate rises to success. You are saying, hey, now I'll buy Audi instead of fucking Toyota or something, you know. And while I'm at it, I might as well also bring up uh, the fact that it's the same exact thing with Kanye West. In this case, the Kanye West situation was as follows. Um, Adidas exploits foreign prison labor. Foreign minorities have less legal protection. And some of the people upset about anti-Semitism and what he says about Jewish, Jewish people support Ukrainian Nazis. Y'all can pretend 350s and Yeezys are the problem here, but everything's wrong. Yay, Artie said slavery was a choice. CAA, Adidas, Balenciaga, Vogue, MRC, and more were totally fine with that and a host of other companies. And maybe I could see this as a solid line in the sand if the West wasn't supporting Nazis for the past decade. 
but fuck all y'all. That was my take on it, and I'm right. Um, so, that was before his bank <laughs> nixed him? That was before his bank said that, hey, yeah, you're not allowed to bank here anymore. But you know who they kept in, in, in their, you know, fucking client list? Uh, well up past the time of all of these sorts of negative things coming up about him? You know, maybe, uh, Epstein. And in my tweet about this, I said Jeffrey Epstein was even allowed to transfer money out of his bank after he died. Assuming he did. And the West has enabled Nazis and other anti-Semites with the Bundeswehr, the Galen Org, Operation Cyclone, Azov, C-14, Right Sector and Co., and more. Kanye got cut off, though. Same bank. So, yeah, I mean, maybe I have a hard time believing that these corporations are sincere about their fucking virtue. When they're virtue signaling only when it's convenient and when they can get free ads from it. When they can get a bunch of people saying, hey, yeah, Vogue, they're so woke, they dropped Kanye. Good for you, Vogue. But you kept him after he said slavery was a choice. J.P. Morgan Chase, hey, yay, you did it, you did it, you, you dropped Kanye, but you kept Epstein. Fucking wonder why that is, huh? You know, it's like all these mega corporations just exploit your desire for virtue so that they can maintain their position in the ruling class and, you know, keep their position as those who have from the people who have not. You know, it's almost like that's the whole point. And when they can get you proles to support them, despite all of that, because they dropped one or two clients, not because they actually did something meaningful to address the fundamentally evil system we all live under, you know, they'll do that because it's free, easy, and fun, and they get to have a nice wank and finish on their screen about it because they got free ads, they duped a bunch of people into still supporting them, and they didn't have to change a goddamn thing! It's almost like that's the whole point of the system, and they know that they're going to keep on getting support, despite being evil, and that's why they can keep being evil. You know, maybe. Maybe the state is a fundamentally evil organization, and that's the reason that we should all learn as much as we can about them, learn as many ways to distance ourselves as possible, and do everything in our power to unite as a people and as a class against the ruling class and smash the fucking state.